Hey, what's up, y'all? So I'm excited to announce our two-week taco challenge. We're looking to create the ultimate taco resource here in Superhumans United. So my vision for this is that we have this comprehensive post that we can come to in the future that has just about every option we can imagine to make great tacos or at least get inspired to make our own version of some tacos. We're all going to be making our own separate posts, but I will compile something that has links to all these different posts. Now, why are we doing this? Because we love tacos. Most of us love tacos and most of us probably thought that we had to give them up or they were off limits or something when we first started this. But as most of us know, you can have your tacos and eat them too. They just have to be made with appropriate ingredients, SHTFI, if you know what I mean. Now, when I started this journey years ago, we did not have access to all the options that we have access to today. But now we want to fully embrace all those options because we're trying to make this work in a modern lifestyle. So here's what we're looking for. All right. First of all, make tacos your way. And I want you to create a separate post using the article feature so that you can use some of the rich text formatting, multiple pictures, bullet points, numbered lists, and things like that. Um, also, obviously, we want to use appropriate tacos. So we've got a list of all the things that we're aware of right now, you know, like the, um, the soft shell tacos, the hard shell tacos. We got a corn tortilla option that's available, some cheese wraps. If you've got any other uh, options or ideas, you can post in the comments as far as things that other people can use, um, you know, because we want this to be a really great resource. But when you create your own recipe post, I want you to create your own separate post. Okay. Now here's some things that you can think about as you are creating your recipe or multiple recipes. First of all, again, make tacos your way. It could be a super simplistic way of making tacos. It doesn't have to be crazy and complicated and extravagant. It could just be your favorite way of making tacos. Or maybe you saw something in a restaurant. It was a restaurant version and you want to try to recreate that or something. Um, maybe you have some tacos from childhood that you remember eating and you want to recreate those. Um, or maybe think about like what would, what would you or someone else be thrilled about as far as a taco resource or recipe coming into Superhumans United, getting all excited about knowing now that we can have tacos. And, um, and again, don't hesitate to get creative with it. And um, you can post multiple recipes if you want to. Again, you can do your own personal version, some crazy enhanced version, some things you've never made before. We'd love to see it all, okay? And again, at the end of this two week challenge, I'm gonna make a taco resource post that links to all the different recipes that we have. Um, and also has all the resources for the tortillas and taco shells and, and things like that. Um, also, we may vote on a top recipe and do some kind of a drawing or award for it or something. Um, if you have any questions about ingredients um, or how this little two-week challenge goes, please post those in the comments associated with this video and this post. But again, we want you to create your own individual recipes, ideally using the article feature so that you have the rich text formatting. I'm going to go through an example of that right now. And I cannot wait to see your tacos in this freaking challenge. All right, what's up, y'all? So we're going to go in here and just show you how to do an article really quick and give you some pointers. When you're on a PC to do an article, instead of doing this little quick post here, we're going to come up here, click the plus sign, and come down to article. Remember, article gives us some formatting options that make a recipe look really nice because we have bullet points and number lists and multiple pictures and stuff. Um, I like to come up here and hit these double arrows to give me more workspace. And then you can give it a nice title. And then you can say something like, I'm excited about share this recipe. You can, you can do a paragraph if you want. You can say as much as you want. When you've got this little plus sign here, we can do a picture, a video link, an attachment, bullet points, a horizontal divider. Let's start with a picture. We're going to do a taco picture. I should have one in here somewhere. There we go. Now once I get the picture up, um, I have some options. Once it's in here, you see these right here. I can do this is standard width. I can do full width. Go back to standard width, centered, and I can also do it to the right and left of text so that I can have some text over here. So let's say I did it to right of text, and then I want to take this little ball here and shrink it, and I could type in a bunch of text here. So um, so a lot of options as far as the pictures go. Um, I'm going to try to bring it back up to its size here. And then once I hover over the picture, if I need to add a line down here, it gives me an option, but it already has one. So down here, again, I can say whatever you want, right? And then let's say I want to do a list. I can do ingredients. We like to call it shit list sometimes. 
and then I'd say, you know, ingredient one, ingredient two, whatever those are, three. And so what I can do here is I can highlight the ingredients and I can give it a header, which means it gives it like a, a bolder, bigger text, right? So I can just experiment with what I want here. That's a two, this is a three, um, you know, so you can do whatever the heck you want here. When you highlight multiple lines of text, now I have an option to give it either a bullet point list or a numbered list. And if I want to, I can also change the text colors and do some highlighting and underlining and stuff like that, right? So um, again, you can add multiple pictures. You can add multiple videos if you want to. We're just looking to see something useful and something that's from the heart that a taco lover would love to see, okay? Now I'm gonna transition over to the iPhone and show you how to access this via the app. All right, so if I come to my smartphone and I go into Superhumans United, then what I wanna do is hit this plus sign down at the bottom and you'll see at the top it says quick post. What I wanna do is change that to article. And then once it gets set as an article, I'm gonna to start to have all those text formatting options that I had before. So I'll give it a second. It likes to work. And then now we've got our title. And then below we've got all the same options we did before. Okay, it's pretty cool. All right. So let me know if you have any questions, comments, feedback, or snide remarks. We'll talk to you all soon.